Hello, joining us today is Temple Owls head coach and Atlantic 10 Conference Coach of the Year, Fran Dumphy. Coach, congratulations on the honor. Thanks so much for joining us. My pleasure, Amy. Thank you. When you open play in the A-10 Conference Championship on Friday in Atlantic City, the Owls will be the top seed. What does your team need to do in order to win this tournament? Well, we obviously have to play our three best games of the year. Uh, hopefully we can get to Saturday's game. This will be a very great challenge for us. It's an interesting and competitive conference. Which team would you say is the most dangerous right now? You know, I, I, uh, I hope that we're one of the dangerous teams, and uh, I want us to be really playing at our very best, and I think that's what it's going to take. Uh, I will tell you that uh, the team that is right behind us, St. Louis, has a terrific basketball team with a great defense, a terrific coach, and uh, if you're asking me to pick somebody who's really dangerous in this situation, mm -hmm. uh, that's one that I would pick. But again, I, I think any one of these eight teams can, can survive and move on. One of the most interesting elements of your team is the fact that you've got three guards that line up of Wyatt Fernandez and more. Are there actually any disadvantages or downside to having an experienced lineup? Well, there are, probably a, uh, there are probably a bunch of times where these kids probably are saying, I don't really want to listen to Coach anymore. He's driving me crazy. <laughs> Uh, he, he said everything he's ever going to say to me over the last three and a half or four years, so why doesn't he just let me alone? That might be a downside, and I, I understand that. I tell them that all the time. Like you, Pretty soon now, you won't have to listen to me anymore. You can be all on your own, but make me feel like I'm the head coach every once in a while. Make me feel good. Part of your job is dealing with the media on a consistent basis. What is the one question that you get tired of hearing over and over again? Uh, I don't know. Uh, how do you feel about your team? Uh, well, I always feel good about my team, when they, especially when they play well. And, uh, do you like your job? Well, I like my job. I love my job when we win, and it's, it's horrible when we lose. But uh, it's, it's what we chose as a profession. I wouldn't trade my profession for anything in the world. And uh, I love the energy and the, the competition piece to what it is that we do. I love the competitive part. So after 41 years of having a mustache, you shaved it off this fall. You were following through on a promise. Oh, you're laughing already. You're following through on a promise that if one of your former players completed his degree, you would shave it. I'm, I'm, I'm dying to know, how naked did you feel? Uh, well, it was actually Deontay Christmas graduated. Uh, he had one course left, and I promised him that if he would graduate, I would get rid of my mustache. I, I did feel a little bit naked for uh, probably a month. Uh, just always reaching back up there to, to comb my. I, I don't have a lot of hair, so I, I don't use. I didn't use my hair, my comb for my hair. I used my comb for my mustache, but uh, <laughs> it was unusual to say the least. Coach, thank you so much for your time. Good luck in the A10 Conference Championship this weekend and all the way through March. Thanks, Abe. Appreciate it. That's it for today, but don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to follow me on Twitter at Amy K Nelson. Peace out.